Former Vice President Mike Pence says he would consider testifying in front of the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack if the panel invited him. He made the remarks during a political event in New Hampshire earlier today. If there was an invitation to participate, I would consider it. But you've heard me mention the Constitution a few times this morning. On the Constitution, we have three co-equal branches of government. And um, any invitation to be directed to me, I would have to reflect on the, the unique role that I was serving in as vice president. Um, it would be unprecedented in history for a vice president to be summoned to testify on Capitol Hill. But I, as I said, I don't want to prejudge. If there's ever any formal invitation rendered to us, we'd give it due consideration. But. For more, let's bring in CBS News political reporter Zach Hudak. He was at the event with Pence and joins us from Manchester, New Hampshire. Zach, this was quite a newsy breakfast, and this really seems to be the first time that we've heard former Vice President Pence signal that he would consider testifying. How significant is that? And do you get the sense that he really wants to? And Nicole, it's very significant if you listen to what the members of the committee have been telling us for a year. As you know, you and I and the rest of our team on the Hill, we have been asking Benny Comps and Liz Cheney, the rest of the committee, do they want to talk to Mike Pence? Do they want to talk to Donald Trump himself? And they keep saying they're open to it. They're leaving it on the table. They're still discussing it, et cetera. But the point is they've left that open. And I think in some ways they've been waiting for a signal like this from the former vice president that he might be open to talking. Now, the committee is not commenting on that, but it is significant for him to come out and publicly say that. He has not done that over this uh, year and a half plus since January 6th. Why did he wait so long? I don't know, but it, it seems that it, he, something has changed that he was willing to make that statement. Yeah, and I was going to ask you a little bit more about that, because, as you know, the former vice president has been very measured in his response to the events of January 6th. So why do you think he's bringing up this idea of testifying now? Well, Nicole, as uh, we've seen more and more information come out from the January 6th hearings, I think that uh, there is a possibility that he sees some public perception changing about that day and uh, is starting to see his role that day potentially as more of a uh, political upside, that he can show that he was heroic uh, in the face of a lot of adversity on that day. He uh, made a statement about it today, indirectly, talking about facing pressures and being brave, uh, and said something along the lines of, I know that firsthand. Uh, so he, he's reaching a point where if he's thinking about running, in 2024, which, if you're coming to New Hampshire right now, there's a chance that you are, uh, this is going to come up, and he's going to have to have a stance on it. Now, I, I will add that uh, we don't know what the committee has been doing. We don't know if they've amped up their talks with him to try uh, to get him to talk to them, if that's changed his view on this. Uh, but it, it is nonetheless pretty significant that uh, – He's left it on the table, even though he really hedged it significantly. The former vice president also addressed the FBI search on former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. What did he say about that? Nicole, the first thing he said is how unprecedented it was and how even though he was traveling with his wife at the time when the news broke, he felt the need to quickly issue a response and say that. But he went on to say that he, like most Republicans, wants uh, answers from the Justice Department. He repeatedly name dropped Merrick Garland, saying that he wants to know why this search had to be done, particularly in the nature it was done. He did say something, however, along the lines of the truth will eventually come out or we will have to allow the truth to eventually come out. So like a lot of the things that Mike Pence says and said today, there is that little bit of a hedge in there where he does sound like he's open to the possibility that uh, there was something nefarious that he'll have to later uh, condemn, even though he, in the moment, uh, doesn't want to jump to conclusions and turn off former Trump supporters who uh, might be uh, looking to him right now. And I know you alluded to this earlier, but this politics and eggs breakfast in New Hampshire is often a rite of passage for presidential hopefuls. Did the former vice president hint at a potential run? 
Nicole, he did. He uh, made a statement about how he has not spent a lot of time in New Hampshire, but he could at some point in the future spend a lot of time in New Hampshire. And that was in response to a question about his support for New Hampshire's first in the nation primary status. So he will not come out and say he's going to run or that he's even considering running, but he is you know, leaving on the table the possibility that he will be back here a whole lot more in 2023 and 2024. Zach Hudak, political reporter for CBS News, thanks for helping us read some of those tea leaves. Thank you, Nicole.